hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel today we're learning a new tutorial on how to make a diy skirt without zipper or side seam so let's get started now to make a full circle skirt you need to calculate the radius of the circle yeah now the radius of a full circle is your waist circumference divided by 6.28 that's like a standard formula anywhere in the world. Your waist circumference divided by 6.28. But the skirt we are making today is a circle skirt without zipper. So the question is, how is the, are you going to put on the skirt? Okay, that you'll be able to pass through your hip. So what you'll do is, you would use your hip circumference as the circumference. So my hip circumference is 40. That will be 40 divided by 6.28 okay and approximately that's about six inches so that six inches is the radius of my circle skirt okay now after i've done that after i've calculated my um, radius um next thing is the length of the circle skirt now the total length of circle skirt i want to work with is about um about 20 inches or so Okay, so uh, but I'm going to be adding ruffles to the circle skirt. So the ruffles will be about 8 inches and then the circle skirt is going to be about 12 inches. Now, in order for me to fold the amount, the right amount of fabric I need, I'll be adding my radius and the length of flare together. So 6 plus 12, that should be about 18 inches. Okay, so this way you will have a minimal wastage of um, fabric. Now, I'm going to go ahead to get my fabric and then I'll show us how to do the folding just in case we have a new comments here. So, this is my fabric, okay? So, basically, um, to cut a full circle, you are going to fold the fabric twice, okay? So, you measure um, 18 from one edge of the fabric, you measure it one way and then you fold into two. You're not folding into you are going to have 18 in two places that's what i'm saying okay then after folding like this you still measure that same 18 inches okay this is um, um this part here is 18 inches like that so you're still going to fold it into two again so all together you have two folds and your fabric is now like four pieces okay so this is 18 from the apex of the fold I don't know if I if that was explanatory okay let me just let me go right again this is my fabric okay already folded so from this point to this point is 18 18 in two places yeah I think that should that was true understand then um from the other end to this place is 18 now folded into two okay so the fabric is now folded into um two places twice i hope that is making a lot of sense yeah that should okay so this is now my fabric i have a square and um from the apex of the square there and first of all going to mark the radius of my circle i'm marking it round as you can see like this i'll just mark um six inches round which is the radius of this circle skirt six inches round i'm marking it like that so i'll just connect all this point together like this okay then we're cutting out this part we don't need the radius we don't need the upper part so i'll just cut it out then as you're cutting add half inch for seam allowance you can see that uh, it's half inch above the marking i made so next is to measure the length of the circle the length of the circle which is um 12 i'm going to make it 12.5 so that I'm, i'll be adding half inch for seam allowance okay so I'll mark 12 inches round the way I marked the radius. The 12 inch mark is starting from 
you know the mark of the radius okay on top so i'm just marking 12 inch round like this okay okay now i'm going to cut out so the same thing just add half inch to that measurement while cutting out for same allowance so this is my circle skirt okay but if you don't want the ruffles like you know you see the tiny tutorial you can just use your the original length that's the full length of your skirt so this is how my circle skirt looks like you can see that there is no we didn't open any seams okay all right so um we are going to be adding ruffles to the hemline and elastic to the waistline so um i'm going to get this is the remaining part of my fabric the border of the fabric um so what you're going to do is the hemline of the circle skirts you are going to do gather this is the rectangle you know the length has to be like two times or three times the hemline of the circle skirts okay it has to be two or three times because now the hemline of this circle skirt i think is about 128 inches for this particular skirt so the ruffles the rectangle you are cutting out has to be 128 times two at least or more so um i'm not quite sure yet if this is going to be up to but let me just go and do the gathers okay i've done the gathers okay and i found that that my fabric wasn't enough so instead of the length of the ruffles to be eight, I had to cut it into two. So the ruffle is shorter now. Okay. So I'll go ahead and attach the ruffle to the hemline of my skirt. So my skirt is now <laughs> about three or four inches shorter, but it's not a problem. You just get the technique that is the most important thing. So I've attached the ruffles. You can see. Yeah, this is the ruffle. In fact, the black part wasn't enough. Or let me say the bothered part, I have to add the yellow part to it to complete the ruffling. So this is my elastic. For the elastic, you're going to cut, uh, use the length of your waist circumference to cut that. And then probably subtract about one inch away so that you have a better grip. And then join the elastic together. Okay. So I've done that. Now you want to place the elastic on the skirts. Mark all the midpoint on the elastic like that. All the midpoint, the sides. Okay, so I've already notched um uh, my skirt too. So you have to place the elastic in such a way that the fullness will be evenly spread on the skirt. Okay, so let me go and do that. All right, so my skirt is super ready. The only thing remaining for me to do is to go and clean up the hemline. So I could use okay. For my best bet is to use an overlocker. To turn the hemline using a bias tip is going to be very laborious okay so my skirt is ready now i'm going to place it on the table for us to see it oh my god can you see it's so so lovely so it's suitable for adults for kids so lovely okay so i'll be expecting us to do this please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel give this video a thumbs up leave your comment thank you for watching bye